the charge. You guys see Paris. I'm back at you today with a new video unboxing video. I'm unboxing this die press supply poly T and desizer spray that I ordered off of Amazon. And it's supposed to allow you to sublimate on shirts with low poly content or 100% cotton. We're just doing an unboxing today so you can see what was in the box and I'll let y'all know where I got it from or whatever. Put a link in the description of where I got it from in case you're interested. But I already have some shirts on deck. So in the next video or two, we're going to be firing up that heat press and pressing that shirt and see how it come. I need a couple more things to be able to do it so I couldn't put in this video. So just enjoy this unboxing. I'll see y'all later. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. 12. So this is that poly tea concentrate. So you're supposed to be able to spray this sun to a cotton t-shirt, light colored as usual, like regular sublimation. I'm gonna figure out how to open this box again. <laughs> yeah. It's more than one way to skin a cat. bubble wrapped up so I got this on Amazon D sizer die pressed poly T spray start with shirts with a minimum of 40% polyester Wait until you've mastered die press before using 100% cotton. I actually have some shirts already over here so I can practice with. All white and gray fabric is coated in sizing to prevent breakage during the weaving process. The sizing burns and blocks the poly tee from soaking in. If you don't remove the sizing with the D sizer, your image will wash out. Sweatshirts of all colors have sizing to avoid peeling. Colored t-shirts do not need these sizers since the sizing was removed when the shirts were dyed. So I guess you would spray this. You mix one ounce of desizer to seven ounces of purified water in a spray bottle. Apply desizer everywhere the heat press will touch the fabric. Cover wet shirt with thin cotton fabric, i.e. flower sack towel. I'm going to pick that up. And press at 385 for 35 seconds. You should see steam. So that's the desizer. That's the directions for this one. The poly tea, you mix one ounce. So two tablespoons. A poly tea plus seven ounces of purified water in a fine mist spray bottle. Apply the first coat of poly tea until the shirt is damp. If using the desizer, poly tea must be smaller than the desizer area. Air dry or dry poly tea in a dryer. Press at 385 for 10 seconds. Apply a second coat of poly tea, air dry or dry poly tea in a dryer. Press at 385 for another 10 seconds. Step seven is use two sheets of butcher paper and press at 385 for 70 seconds with medium to heavy pressure. Use a thin silicone mat under your shirt to lift the image higher than the rest of the shirt. Only use pressing pillows for thick fabric like sweatshirts. The, pil the pillows do not provide the right kind of pressure when subbing t-shirts. It's good to know. 
Do not use tacky spray. It will block the ink transfer. Spray water or alcohol through a spray bottle to keep sprayer from clogging. Okay. That was a uh, $58.99 and it's on Amazon. You get eight fluid ounces of the, of the concentrate and it says that It'll, this 8 ounces will make 64 ounces of each. So 8 and 8 each bottle. Um, Dye, so what is this? So they got a Facebook group, Dye Sublimation. Might have to look into it just to get some inside, insight on this product. Yeah, fifty eight ninety nine. Amazon. I will put that link in that description for anybody that want to use it. So this is just the unboxing. I do already have some shirts, so I will be making a video really soon. I just got to go get the um, the purified water and some spray bottles. I, I didn't think about none of that prior to getting this. And shout out Amazon. Because this wasn't supposed, it, it was supposed to be here between the 14th and the 20th, February. Today's February 13th, so it came a day earlier than it possibly could. So, shout out Die Press for being on the job. Die Press Graphic Supplies, where it came from. I was, I, you know, shout out to them for being on the job. I didn't expect to see this when I went to the mailbox today. But, uh, so again... You got your desizer. You spray that to treat your shirt first. You got the poly tea. This is actually what you'll be subbing on. Each bottle is 8 ounces. We'll make 64 ounces in a spray bottle. Um, so there you have it. We're going to get it to try and see what it do on some, all, on some, some uh, cotton t-shirts. But I, I got some shirts that I bought by mistake that have a really low poly content. They said start with 40. And I think the shirts that I got are about 40 because I did suppress one of my images on one. And it came out so faded. Let's see if I can find it right quick. Yeah. So this is just a t-shirt I pulled. I picked up a, down at Walmart for a practice print. But it's football being a weed that Oregon lifestyle. But like I say, the poly, I, I thought it was a polyester, 100% polyester, but it wasn't. The It came out so faded, so there's a low polyester count. Good 40% maybe we'll try, see what it does. So I thought at first it was my image because this is the very first time I had pressed this particular image. And then so I had a, a cricket shirt 100% polyester did one and it came out nice and bright. Let's see if I can find that. This is printed, same transfer. I just did a small one just to see. Same transfer, but you can obviously see the difference. This is 100% polyester. This one is unknown, but there is polyester in it. So and I got another, I think I got a couple more of these t-shirts they were like three bucks at walmart so i'm gonna use one of them for the practice get a video together putting uh pressing out with this and see what happens right on thank you for watching I'll see you.